These are the tools you require to replace the curly power cable. A couple of zip ties, Phillips head to remove the hood and pliers. Uh, first of all we need to remove the side covers. Next step is we need to separate this plug. So let's pull back on its side, push on the top. Next, just snip the two zip ties that hold everything together in there. Remove those. So just grab a pair of pliers. So we're just going to push the rubber boot and everything through and just give it a wiggle and everything will come out through that hole. So with these, all you've got to do is just ease them back till you get to the thinner part of the wire. Then starting with the littlest plug or whatever one you want, you just pull them all back through the opening one at a time. There's your main plug. We'll just put him aside. Okay, remove the top. Next step, just the other end of your curly lead. Push down, pull him apart. Take off the two wires that go down to your battery, making sure it's disconnected. Then remove the circuit board. There's three screws there, there, and there. And just lay him back out of the road. The next step is to unscrew this large nut. Right, now everything will just drop straight out the bottom, like that. We just unscrew our large nut down here. Now it's important that you bend these at right angles, just bend them straight like that. Then everything can just pull out bit by bit, straight out through the bottom like that. Um, this is our new part. Both ends are identical. We don't need to worry about which end goes up the top or down the bottom. Right, first of all, slide your nut on and then poke both your terminals up through like that. Unfortunately, they won't all fit in at once. Get your gland there. The most important thing is put that end through first so you just fit through nicely. Then one by one, your battery end and your other battery end, pull them up. You'll see where the kinks where in the battery leads where the nut had grabbed them before, slide them back to there. So it's only a matter of tightening your nut up now. Just so it's fairly tight, you can tighten it up when it goes back in. Next step, just take everything, poke it through the hole in the bottom. It's on a hex, so it'll all fit into the hex there. Slide the big nut over the top of all three. Slide the nut down and tighten it. Bend your battery terminals back to right angle and just slide your covers back on. Now let's replace the circuit board like it was, two to the front. Do your three screws up. Put your cables back on from the diagram you drew earlier. So your red and your black there, and your straight black is there. Connect your four pin plug back up, only goes on my little raised section there. Right, just push the plug back together. So with our rubber plug we pulled out earlier, just insert the curly cord, don't pull it right through, then insert your next plug, and then your last one, just drag it through backwards, like that. So there's all your plugs back in. So now it's just a matter of putting it all back through the same hole it came out of. Push your rubber bung to the hole and just give the rubber bung a push, he'll pop back in. You need two zip ties, one to stop the wires popping back out, put him on first. And want to stop the rubber bung popping out. Then it's only a matter of just connecting up your wires. There's your two plugs together, your four pin plugs. There is the plug from the steering we unhooked earlier. The only other one down there. Trim your zip ties off. There's your two zip ties. One to stop the cables going back through and one to stop the rubber grommet from going back through. Cover's ready to go back on. <laughs>